Now this illustration deals with the grounded conductor, but it's when the grounded conductor is connected in parallel, as you see in the illustration, in accordance with NEC 250.30A is in apple, 3B is in boy. Now, in the illustration, we have a, a simple uh, parallel hookup on the L1 phase. And uh, if we should review uh, the uh, connections to the right in the uh, panel board, then notice uh, phase L1 in accordance with 250.30A3B as well as the information informational note, excuse me, lines up with 310.10G1. We, anytime you we're connecting in parallel, just remember, uh, we would uh, reference 310.10G in the 2020 code. Uh, in the 2017 edition, if you were using it, then naturally that would be 310.10H. But it's G now in the 2020 NEC. And then to the left at the uh, transformer, then notice we have a uh, transformer there uh, that's the service equipment, uh, uh, you know, being fed from service equipment. Uh, maybe it's a better way to explain that. Uh, the primary is a feeder with an overcurrent device ahead of it feeding uh, that transformer that's out, uh, 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 that'd be separately derived. Now, notice the grounded neutral conductors uh, if they're neutrals or just grounded conductors, have to comply with 250.30A3B uh, as well as 310.10G. Uh, now notice step one. We, we have uh, in step one information that uh, we have uh, three alt conductors and a three alt conductor, if... Uh, uh, would only require from table 250.102C1 uh, a number four conductor. And sometimes people make this mistake, uh, and it's uh, folks that just haven't had the time to get the experience to know about parallel hookups. And if you don't review 210.10G, you never will get a good handle on this. But notice in step two, though, when we uh, review 310.10G1 as well as 250.30A3B informational note, then the minimum size grounded conductor or neutral connected in parallel must be one alt. So even though the table 250.102C1 for a three alt would say number four, and many times you find this, uh, which was, is a violation. And then when the inspector calls a person on it, uh, uh, they naturally will uh, uh, get upset with it because they may have to size, uh, resize three conduits to accommodate a one alt and still a, a number four with the three alt conductors in parallel. So the solution and answer is then, the step one number four conductor doesn't fly, we would need to use a one alt because a one alt conductor is the smallest conductor you can connect in parallel uh, according to 310.10G. Now we'll find that the equipment ground though, this is, uh, would not be sold for an equipment ground which we will look at later. So keep that in mind when we review 250.122B as in boy, uh, and look at 250.122F, I believe it is, uh, equipment grounds uh, do not have to be one order larger. They're just whatever the protective device requires, as we will see. Now, notice the primary feed coming into that transformer, left-hand side of the drawing at the top. Article 100 defines a feeder in a separately derived system. Table 450.3B sizes the conductors as well as the overcurrent device on the primary side. 450.14 deals with a disconnecting means uh, that's required for the primary, 
And of course, we could use the exception uh, under certain conditions. So uh, these are sections that are very important that you would want to review. Now notice the XO in that simply derived system has been removed and we're grounding uh, to the structural steel at the first disconnecting means in the panel board. So figure uh, 16-40 illustrates the sizing of the grounded conductor when connected in parallel, but we're always making sure that the grounded conductor serves as an effective ground fault path. And if neutral load happened to be involved, then you'd have to look at 220.61. And we always like to repeat these rules because a user may just look at this one illustration that deals with paralleling. And we would want to, want, we want to make sure, excuse me, that uh, you realize the sizing and it is a step two that sizes it, not the step one that you see in the boxed-in information. And that's what our figure 16-40 is illustrating.